Atifu wa mamino wasi na menchiao Mfamra channel ne so uh, Mestre so be subscribe Sebe ya ensema El Kobe bi anu Onsa ebe tu mi akembi um, Shockingly Ensema wa e bobo basi siye Ya chese mi insa akembi Si siya anu e chiri muse um, The former president Jerry John Rawlings Wadan insa bi unkum so um, He is gone like wawu He is dead we a eh, reporter CCA and HSA Ebeshim. Na the report no, was first posted on Ghana Web. Um, Ghana Web a bit me confirm me eh, the amount. Eh, say, eh, Jerry John Rollins is dead. See, and eh, it was also breaking news. Jerry John Rollins dead. And report no, a eh, eh, Thursday, 12 November 2020. And a day I'm no air eh, case. Or say, eh, former president Jerry, Jerry John Rollins is dead. Ghana Web can confirm. The former president, Ghana Web Understands, passed on today, November 12th, 2020, after a brief illness. More soon. And in uh, Ghana Web, in uh, a reported story, there is another um, site, uh, graphic.com.gh, and also a bit me a former president of Ghana, Jerry John Rollins, is dead. He is said to have died Thursday morning at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Accra. Graphic online has guarded. In the CNN, the ensemble says Ebo Baba in the year says HM says Jerry John Rollins Papa G. We timi adani bi unkumtu as the CNN no kase wa inya media unu so openi. Mleka krebi eche mu eni na unu ankasa ne mami. Ye timi isi na na se we timi eja ne chikwani. Ya enam no kase reporter Ebo Baba idi. Me chimu se we timi efi. Ebe kusu edi eche ni yehu. Um, actual reporter and Kasach say about we a eh, first time like first time reporter at eh, me a eh, Ghana web and eh, a graphic online and a to me a reporter so said the air quid is a sanity a not just a you bet me a can edia chow say a jerry john rollins what to me at that nibium kum so just a few weeks and i say uh, just a month, about a month after, say, Utumi, a CEO, my man, C, and then seven, okay. So far, a dear, a cool, no, any, a horn, some, nan, Cassandro, dona, intimate, and by bet, said the news portals, me, new, a to me, a report, no, a horn, some, and I met me, a dear, more. So, um, shocking news, shocking, 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 like, I'm on for engine D uh, on social media. I had the Jacques say, if you see a fake news, if you see a bet. But according to Ghana Web and a graphic online, sa ena eti eoho pepe pepe. This morning, when we arrived, I was asking what time the function would start, and we were told we would be starting at 10 o'clock. No, we were supposed to start at 10 o'clock, but we may be a little late because the president will turn up at 11. 
the president has the tendency of being late. <laughs> so I'm going to ask for your permission so we can invite him to the military academy. <laughs> Yes, and drill some military time into his blood. <laughs> Yesterday, when the function was going on at the state house and my other people were dancing, he said now he can see why we don't have any back pains. <laughs> when I see his people doing the waist ones, I can see why they won't have any waist pain. <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, Nani Man, Nana Achampehini, representing the Honorable Osei Tutu, Otumfo. Uh, let me correct a mistake some of my colleagues have made. Nana incidentally also holds two doctorate degrees. So, <laughs> So, my dear, beloved, Dr. Dr. Nana Ajman Rawls. <laughs> my colleague, uh, Ministers of State, Honorable Lecturers of the various faculties, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I think I prefer the lady. I prefer the lady. <laughs> of hope, my beloved brothers and sisters, in Africa is gradually but surely beginning to whisper the vision espoused by our forebearers that soon Africa will rediscover its own pathways for democracy and sustainable development. As we gather here today to celebrate the early signs of a vision for rural transformation, that has been exemplified by one small rural university. Let me salute the pioneering efforts of the University for Development Studies in convening the special congregation with an impressive array of prominent personalities, including ordinary people from several rural communities throughout the country. As they say, better late than never, I first heard of this honorary degree in 2000, and it has taken nearly 14 years for this occasion to come to fruition. My purpose for starting with this reference is that seeking justice and speaking to, for it is a long, drawn-out struggle. For others, they get it on a silver platter. This very university has decided to award, has decided to award honorary degrees to many people, and within two to three months they are invited. The ceremony occurs and out they go, honored, done, they are knighted. For Rawlings, it's taken 14 years. <laughs> we never gave up. <laughs> the good news is we are here and thanks to the ordinary people of this country and the courage and perseverance of some men and women of honor and of integrity who founded and are nurturing the dream of this university. Their names and memories will forever be immortalized. There are too many to count here. As an eternal servant of the people of Ghana, I'd like to offer a few reflections on the subject of leadership for sustainable development on the Ghana's transition to democracy. From the point of view of a practitioner who lives and swears by the people whose interests are paramount 
and whose leadership is relevant. Let me first ask a rhetorical question. What is the meaning of democracy for our people? My more learned colleagues have described democracy as rule of the people, by the people, for the people. In Ghana, we started initially with a negotiated process and credit our first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, as a skillful negotiator who set out the path of our independence from a neo-colonial perspective. We became independent from colonial rule, began an accelerated development agenda, and started to build the infrastructure of our sovereignty. Successful as we were then, the very contradictions in our own internal arrangements were later to consume and derail the vision of Nkrumah. What were these contradictions? A hierarchy of self-seeking individuals both in government, within the ruling party, in partnership with Cronus in the private sector, had arrogated the power and the wealth of the nation unto themselves. The opposition then had very similar interest with the emerging ruling class, a bubble group, in fact, that felt their right to the wealth of the nation was stolen by less wealthy individuals or politicians. Ordinary citizens on whose backs and with whose aspirations the independence project was based soon found themselves as passive onlookers. Despondency set in, others capitalized on the mountain frustrations, and the rest of what happened is well documented by our more learned political historians. Mr. Chairman, let me not speak for or about others. I was told to speak more about a journey that I have been part of, a journey demanded by uh, honorary people of this country and traveled by them. I believe that it is partly the result of my participation in this journey that I've been deemed worthy of an honorary degree today. Mr. Chairman, if indeed democracy is rule of the people, by the people and for the people, then I'll start in 1979 when we witnessed a spontaneous demand for the reconstruction of democracy by the ordinary people of this country, led by the, those in uniform. Initially, we all assumed that this was merely a call for reforms in the military, an institution whose honor and dignity had been woefully compromised by the attractions of material gain. We interpreted, we interpreted this demand as simply one to restore a constitutional order, conduct elections, and establish a civilian government. Under my stewardship, we responded diligently, cleaning the armed forces and returned its dignity at a very painful cost. Next, we organized and supervised a return to civilian constitutional rule giving renewed confidence to ordinary people that their voices can be heard and their efforts for change can materialize. We did all these in a record time of three months. And I thought, this is it. The journey to democracy is done. But, and a big but, 